Can we talk about Rolo Tomasi? Go ahead. Because him as an individual, his work is a great work. He referred it to me. I thumbed through it. I really did. Mm -hmm. Then when I watched him, he does not exude the characteristics that I would say that a masculine man would exude. He is a married man who is kind of like living a cuckold type life. And he's talking (laughs) to men about what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to operate around other around women. And I'm like, yo, 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 you're kind of being disingenuous. I know from real life experience that women respond to us in a very positive way. Mm -hmm. And so since women respond to us in a positive way with money or no money, I know how, what female energy, feminine energy looks like. Well, remember white men just aren't that cool overall. So they need that literature. Whereas black men, we've lived a different life with our women. We kind of have a natural cool and a different approach with how we approach the sexual dynamic. That's just being, I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one, two, that's hey, why we're go ahead. There's some black nerds, bro. It's some black. It, it, hey, some cool ass white even, niggas, bro. It, it's some, it's some cool <laughs> white boys. But listen, when you talk about when you okay, listen. Yeah, when yeah. I was learning how to mac on a chick, yes, it culturally, you gonna get dropped off at the mall and here. Hey, you better get a number. If you don't get a number, you weak. Versus them. That's not necessarily always the case with them. That's Who why was the person that said that. Who said an older brother? Okay, a cousin. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and hey, some cases it do be women in our community, but that's typically what's happened. The pickup artist community, which is where the manosphere really came out. Y'all don't know y'all history. I'm finna give it to you. Okay. The pickup artists P-way, are, the, are, the, are the, the pickup community is where the red pill manosphere uh, uh, society came out of because these were men finally swapping notes. But it initially came out of like, uh, mainly white men who wanted to figure out how to get with women. That's where a lot of the, they need those books. We all need those books, but they created that world because one thing about the white man is he is great at studying other civilizations. He's great at observing the world, writing about it and teaching about it. That is something that he's gifted at doing. He's a student of life. He's a student of life. So that's why when you look at a guy like Rolla, I would agree. He doesn't come off as cool. Uh, Hey, a lot of these men don't come off as cool, fresh, even the black ones. Fresh and fit ain't cool. Them niggas is lame. If they did not have their You might own, have to bleep the niggas part out. If they didn't have a whole show, if they weren't doing the thing they was doing, if the uh, if the fresh guy didn't have the jewels on his body, no one would pay attention to him. Kevin was the closest because Kevin exemplified something like closest to a man who has actually had those experiences. When he was a Kappa. He went to college. He was a tall brother. You know, he had enough experience with women to be able to have some of those conversations. A lot of these brothers hadn't, they don't got the ground time. They don't got the flight time with women to be able to even have these conversations like we do. Kevin Samuels was a metrosexual. Kevin Samuels was very much so metrosexual. And that's how women identified with him so much because his message was so palatable. Like, he wasn't being no stomp down Tommy Sotomayor, I'm going to put my foot on your throat <laughs> and you're going to understand what I'm saying, woman. Tommy. No, that's not how he got down. Yeah. He was very palatable. Even when he was getting aggressive with the women, it was it was so respectful. Well, women adhere. That's why, that's why you'll see pimps dress the way they dress or, or come off the way they come off. Women sort of want to see something that is very similar and manicured to them. That's what they'll listen to. They don't always want to be around something so rough. And that's one of my theories on why they'll listen to uh, these pretty motherfuckers. That's, that's why they, they that's more they want to be they want to find something relatable to themselves. That's why they listen to gay men. I'm the closest thing that they have to like aggression. I'm like refined aggression. You know, I might get a manicure sometimes. But I'm still like, hey, 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 I'm not playing, okay? Like, we're finna go do this thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I'm the most respectful knight that the could ever was. But she also knows that this nigga got a sword and he will use it. Well, look at us. We we got beards. We're very manly. Look at the things we talk about. We're very uh, ten toes on what we believe. That's that's very masculine. That can be very harsh. A lot of times when I'm ta- talking. Even on my, my YouTube or TikTok, you know, oh, it's how you're saying it. <laughs> you could be telling the truth, but it's how you're saying it. I, I'm supposed to say it like this. It's just like a child when you're talking to your child. The kids don't want to be reprimanded, but it's my job to reprimand you. It's just what it is. In a marketplace, like right now, the marketplace is solely ideas. And if you cannot defend your ideas physically and verbally, then maybe you should not be espousing that rhetoric. 
And right now, we have people who just want... I had a woman, she told me, she said, words or violence. Her man was sitting right there with me, right? And I was like, hey, 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 look up the definition of what violence is. Words ain't violence, baby. Violence is violence. I've been to war, baby. That's violence. Right now, we're having a conversation. And if you can't handle the words that I'm saying right now, earmuffs, bitch.